Hello guys! In today's tutorial, I will show you how you can create this World War II map animation in After Effects using GeoLayers. Without wasting much time, let's get into it. Kindly support the channel by liking and subscribing so the video can reach more people. The first thing we need to do is to link a GitHub historical map repository to GeoLayers. I made a tutorial on how to do this in more detail in this video. I will be dropping the link in the description below. But for this tutorial, I will just show you how to connect it without going into much detail. To connect the GitHub repository GeoLayers, launch GeoLayers, and copy this URL which I will be linking to the description below. After copying it, go to the GeoLayers panel menu, click on Preference, then scroll down to the Feature Search setting, click on this plus button, then under the category type, select GitHub Repo, then paste the URL link we copied here, then type the master in this box, then increase this to 10, and click Apply. After that, close your GeoLayers and relaunch it. Next, let's create a new composition around Germany. Select the map style you want, and you can further customize the map style if you want. Then click Create. After that, search for Germany, then go to this box here to choose Drawing or Fill Style. Let use this color. After that, go to the first result and click on the Pen tool on the first result to draw a fill around Germany. After our fill has been drawn, next I will import this Nazi Germany flag that I downloaded. All the assets used in this video will be uploaded to a Google Drive and I will share the link below so you can follow along with the tutorials. After importing the flag, drag it below the Germany fill layer, and then click the track mat, then make it the alpha mat of the fill layer. If you can't see this option, click on below here on this toggle switches and mode. Once you have done the track mat, rotate, reposition and scale to fit the flag to Germany's map, you can copy my settings to follow the tutorial. After that, let's import the ink drop and drag it to the top of the layer. Right click, go to transform, and click on fit to comp. Then go down to the mode and change it from normal to screen. Next, go to the effects and preset tab and search for set mat, then drag it to the ink drop layer. Go to the effects control and change the take mat from layer to Germany layer. After that, right click on the ink drop layer, go to time, then select time reverse layer to make the beginning of the clip be the end. After that, right click on the layer again, Go to Time and select Enable Time Remapping. Then drag the second keyframe closer to make the clip faster. Now when you play through, the ink spreads over Germany precisely. The next thing we are going to do is draw the map of the Allied Powers, occupying Germany after the war. This is when we pull data from the historical map repository we connected. To pull data from the repository, use the different year keywords here. So let's search for 1945, scroll down, and click on this world1945.geojson to download the features. Next, go down to Filter and search for Germany, and you will get results of the areas occupied by the Soviets, United Kingdom, United States, and France. Select the fill style you want from here, select the first result, click on the pen here, and then select the Draw feature. Move the fill layer we just created to the top, then adjust it to the right, around where the ink drop animation ends. Then import the Soviet flag, drag it below the map layer, then make the track mat an alpha mat of the top layer, scale it down, rotate and position, so the flag fills the map. Do the same thing for the UK, US and France. Draw the map, import the flag, change the track mat, and position the flag to fill the map well. Adjust each map a couple of frames forward from the one below so they animate in separately. Or you can select all the features. Click on the pen tool, then select Draw with Time Offset, and then select the time duration like one second.
The final map we are going to create is that of East and West Germany. Going through the historical base map, we can use 1960. During this period, Germany was still divided under the Allied powers. So go to GeoLayers and search 1960, scroll down, download the map feature, then go down to Filter and search for Germany, scroll down to the second feature where you will find East and West Germany, select both click on the pen and select Draw with Time Offset. After that, import your flags of both East and West Germany, then drag the West Germany flag under West Germany map and make the track matte to alpha matte. Do the same for East Germany. And then finally, select everything except for the main map comp and map anchor, then parent them all to the map anchor, make them all 3D except for the ink drop, then animate the map using the map pitch and bearing as you want. You can add texture and overlays. Then make sure to finalize your map so you can get the best quality. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.